Hey social media, hey YouTube, this is Tiffany Martinez. I am coming to you with another cooking slash video that I've never done this one before because I just got this Ninja product. It's not, it's new to me, but it's not new to me if that makes sense. It's kind of a upgrade type thing because my other one, um, I wouldn't say it died, but it was malfunctioning after eight, almost nine years, so... I held on to it for a very long time so it's not technically an upgrade as some people say you know so anyways I'm gonna try to keep this video short and to the point but I have all the ingredients lined out and obviously I'm making chocolate chip cookies and you can make them inside this processor I guess you could say I have the ninja professional plus where as I've stated you can make it inside this bowl type thing so, I'm using my own recipe, not the one that I've created, but the one that I have inside my recipe book, not the one that Ninja uh, provides on, I guess, their website or recipe book. Mine didn't come with that recipe, so like I said, it's the one that I have. So, based on their video, you're supposed to add um, your brown sugar, your regular sugar, and your... Um, your egg and your butter into this first and to make sure that you're using your dough um, blade and not the oh my god I'm going to cut yourself blade so and I have the other stuff laid out prepared so there's going to be like pauses in it because I don't have my tripod set up I'm just doing it the way I want to do it so if you're new to my channel be sure to like and subscribe even if you just got a little bit of something out of the video that was positive, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I do a lot of different videos. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to add as much as I can with one hand. This is just the pre-measured uh, dry ingredients, which is the, the sugar, the brown sugar, and I'm using vegan butter versus the regular butter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause here and continue to add the butter and the egg. And the, and the egg and the butter is room temperature. Okay, I have all the ingredients inside that it said to add. Um, the butter, the sugar, and the egg. And if you already have one, like I said, this is my first time using I'm just talking as if someone who was here um, that's never used it. It's kind of like a tutorial, um, because when I was looking for a video that was basically explaining how to do the chocolate chip one, I didn't see one other than one, and no shade to that person, but if you've seen that one, um, that particular person only showed you how to do their version, and it was kind of incomplete, so that's the way, that's why I'm telling you, sort of kind of like step by step, Sort of. Anyways, make sure your little arrows are aligned together. Otherwise, otherwise, it won't work. And then you're supposed to lock it in place when it gets on the base. And then you select your dough. And the machine is supposed to do the rest of the work for you. Because this is my first time. You can see my little recipe book sitting over there. Um, it's my first time. Um, it's going to be an experience for me too. Now, obviously, I won't be talking during the next part because... It is loud. That means it's working. And those seconds are up and now I'm supposed to add the remaining dry ingredients including the uh, vanilla extract and maybe I was supposed to add that in this previous step but I don't remember but it doesn't matter it's going to be mixed in anyways so let me get that off and probably have to pause um, although I did pause before I added the dry ingredients, I did want to show you guys what it looked like on 
before I added the dry ingredients. I am scraping the sides to make sure all the butter and stuff is getting mixed in. I have one of those standing mixers and sometimes I have to do that too. So it's kind of like a truth video type to make sure you know that you will have to do a little bit of the work but this is really cool especially if you're like me and your hands hurt when you have to stir things but if this is all you have to do this is amazing i'll be right back okay next i am adding the flour which is the rest of the dry ingredients i did remove the blade because i want to make sure everything is mixed the way it's supposed to be mixed and these are like the salt and the baking soda and the um, the starch. Okay. And it's, if it's your recipe, you should make it your recipe. Um, and even if it's not your recipe, it's your machine and it's your product, you should be able to make sure it's the way that you want it to be so you don't want to waste too much too much of the you know product even if it is your first time you can always clean the the little nooks and crannies with a little spoon before you add the blade again Okay, and then I'm just going to add the blade again and put it back on the machine. and push it down enough okay everything's inside now we're going to do the last part Um, this is the last part and I just add the chocolate chips and then per the the ninja website so I could just turn this off oh I guess I it automatically shuts off I did learn that with just the protein shake in the morning um, once I add this the chocolate chips then that'll be the last step and then it just goes on the cookie sheet but I'll be right back process of scooping the, the dough from the dough from the bowl to over to the cookie sheet onto the parchment paper I think they came out very well for the first try they're more like double chocolate chip cookies than the traditional kind um, but they're cookies no one's gonna complain about a cookie um, I really like it a lot compared to me having to manually stir the product so if you know me on a personal level you know exactly what I mean so we're gonna enjoy these um, again if you found this video useful to you be sure to like share and subscribe and give it the video a thumbs up. 
Um, I do enjoy trying new things, so if you have a vegan or vegetarian recipe that you would like for me to try that's not, like, really complicated, like, uh, complicated, I mean, like, too many steps and all that jazz, then be sure to comment in the comment section so I can give it a try. Um, and I'll look it over and see what I can do. Anyways, this has been Tiffany Martinez. You can follow me on Twitter at LawfulMoney76, Instagram at Crypto underscore Tiff, Facebook, I am the, always the gold messenger. My business page is International Silver and Gold Savers with Tiffany Martinez. I did want to mention this before I close out this video. Um, the blade and the bowl process, it was very easy to get the... Um, the dough off, nothing was like, like very complicated or sticky or gooey or something like that. It was, it came off with ease. Like, it's not going to be a, something you got to soak overnight. Like, I used this spoon to clean the, the, you know, the dough from the blade. It was, it came off very easy. Basically, the long story short, the short of it is the cleanup process is very easy. You could just see, look how easy that comes off. Like, I'm not trying to sell the product. I mean, if I was an affiliate of Ninja, I would be getting paid for this. So, anyways, be sure to like this video, and I will see you in the next video. Um, I will be adding pictures at the end of the video of the final product. Ashe. So, this concludes the video. I'm so excited. The cookies came out delicious. I've already tasted half of one, and this is the end result. Chocolate chip cookies out of a blender. I'm excited because I have a little chronic pain, intractable pain, all that kind of stuff. So whenever I can do one less thing and still be considered active in life, that helps me out tremendously. Again, if you like this video or found something useful in this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Peace.